Hi, this is Dax with Elemental Risk Management. It's been a bit since we've done some videos, but we're gonna get back into it and we're gonna start with artificial intelligence and how it may or may not impact the commercial insurance industry and the insurance industry in a whole. So artificial intelligence, we're all getting kind of inundated with things going on with AI, whether it be GPT, OpenAI, Microsoft's getting into it. Of course, car companies, AI is going to be in some level for all of us, part of our daily lives if it isn't already. So in the insurance industry, AI has been kind of, I would say more of the concern on an agent side if it would potentially basically basically eliminate us and make us as agents not relevant anymore. And my feeling, and granted, this is always gonna be kind of an evolving thing. I don't think we're ever gonna fully get to an end result. But so far, everything I've seen has led me to the belief that artificial intelligence is gonna be there through the independent agency channel to support us in, as agents and help us do all the back end work that you as an insured or a client may not see on the front end. It's gonna be there to support us, help us move faster, help us move more efficiently, but Ultimately, our industry, commercial insurance, likes to have an individual, a person that you can trust. As we've all seen, if we've seen some of the tests with some of the open AI models and chat GPT right now, is some of the information is squirrely. Maybe I've heard numbers, you know, that it's 80 to 90% accurate, but it's always gonna be that last 10% that's gonna be the hardest to achieve. And who knows how long that takes? Does it take 10 years, 20, 30 years? And is it ever really 100% trustworthy? And the answer to that question, I don't fully know, but that's kind of my feeling on it. People want somebody to trust. They want an individual to trust. They want somebody they can believe in. They also want somebody that they can kind of point the finger to when their expectations. Could you imagine getting upset an open AI or a chat GPT platform? And you're not going to feel like your feelings, your emotions, your concerns are heard. And who's going to be responsible? responsible for that. So that's another layer that I don't hear a lot of talk about in our industry. I think as independent agents, we are protected by the liability that we take on as agents conducting insurance for our clients. So if an insurance carrier, let's say, gets into going the AI route, they're going to be 100% responsible because ultimately, and when I say responsible for errors, policy errors, processing errors, coverage errors, there's a million different things that can go wrong. And and they don't want that liability because the policies, the limits that they afford coverage for are limited specifically for the coverage items on that policy. But an error could potentially take on even a greater liability. And my feeling is a greater liability in relationship to the basically the commission that they pay us as agents to conduct business. And then we as agents have our own insurance as well to protect us. So that's my feeling. You know, it's always going to be there. Certainly there's already companies doing it that are going down the AI route. We call them tech insurers. Those companies, you know, they may be great on the tech side, but we've already seen some of them leave the insurance space. And the reason they leave is, well, you may have the greatest technology in the world, an app, a fancy website, whatever the case may be, but you still have to be profitable on the insurance side. And that's where we see the tech insurers not really kind of get our business. They do try and blend it. They bring people from the insurance industry, but they're there may be some out there doing a great job and I'm just not aware, but so far it doesn't seem like they've been come into our industry and go gangbusters and soak up, you know, even a big chunk or even a small chunk of the business that's available out there. So my feeling, there's always going to be that option, but as independent agents, I think we're pretty well protected for the reasons I laid out. And ultimately it's about the relationship. Can you really have a relationship with a chat GPT open AI or robotic type model? My feeling is no, but you decide for yourself, but that's a little background and kind of my feelings about how AI is going to affect our industry. Thanks for listening.